Tonight, I'm going to be discussing the case between the National Collegiate Athletic Association, or the NCAA, and Ed O'Bannon case. In July 2009, Ed O'Bannon, a former basketball player who was starter on the UCLA's 95 National Championship team and the NCAA Basketball Tournament Most Outstanding Player of the Year, filed a lawsuit against the NCAA and the Collegiate Licensing Company, alleging violations of the Sherman Antitrust Act and of actions that deprived him of his right of publicity. This means that O'Bannon is arguing that NCAA should not be able to use the likeness of NCAA athletes without compensating them, and the case alleges that the defendants violated antitrust law by conspiring to not compensate athletes. For example, North Carolina sells a lot of number 23 basketball jerseys with no name on the back. Michael Jordan is not compensated for those sales, even though a UNC number 23 jersey clearly has value because of what Jordan did while wearing it. The problem with this is that athletes have to sign forms while they're students that relinquish all rights that pertain to the use of their names, images, and likeness. This is an antitrust class action lawsuit filed against the NCAA, which means that O'Bannon is fighting for all athletes, not just himself, who have played college athletics and the NCAA is using their name to make money for themselves. NCAA believes that by paying its athletes, it would be a violation of its concept of amateurism in sports. Judge Bybee expressed concern that offering student-athletes cash sums that is not related to educational expenses would transform NCAA into minor league status. When athletes sign National Letter of Intents, they have to go through what is called the NCAA Clearinghouse to show that they have not received money from anyone for playing their sport or it would make them ineligible to play college athletics. O'Bannon's main fight was that NCAA amateurism rules violate the federal antitrust law. So the Ninth Circuit has ruled that NCAA regulations are subject to antitrust scrutiny and rules limiting football and men's basketball players to receiving tuition, fees, room, board, and books violate antitrust laws. Now the antitrust law requires that schools be allowed to provide these athletes with scholarships that cover all of their costs of attending college, including travel and personal incidents, or what is known as cost of attendance. Cost of attendance would be money that covers the actual cost of attendance after tuition is paid for. This gives them money to travel back home for groceries, entertainment, or anything like that. The cost of, it, cost of attendance is only allowed for Division I schools, and not all Division I schools are required to do it. This is due to the O'Bannon case. The Supreme Court said that it will not consider the Ed O'Bannon case antitrust case against the NCAA. Therefore, the ruling will stand with what the Ninth Circuit decided. My opinion on this entire matter is that student athletes are already given tuition to go to school, so therefore they shouldn't receive extra pay for their names being used by NCAA. Being a coach is crazy how much is handed to the student athletes and how many benefits they already receive. By giving them more money for their athletic ability, it just takes away the fun of the sport and turns it into a job. I believe sports should not be viewed that way. Thanks.